city of Cartersville, Georgia, can have some pretty low-budget local television shows. Bad quality, really static key, etc. The living room TV had no cable box, so it had few channels. When my room was swarmed with needles, I would decide to sleep in the living room on the couch looking for a channel to illuminate the room or to watch. It was 9.56. I was on the couch awake swarming through channels like usual until I discovered a new channel with a number 17B. This was strange to me because I never heard of a B channel before. All I saw was just SMPTERs on the screen. I decided that it was good cause there is really nothing else to watch on TV anyways. As soon as 10 o'clock struck I was greeted with static and a terribly static key picture of what looks like a red pupil guy with WKYS333 under it with very creepy looping music playing. The static flashed on the main screen, distorted before it displayed a video of random animals, the same video from the samples folder in Windows 7. It was really creepy and odd to me. After the video ended the main screen appeared again, but red and the music was slower than before. This really scared me. I wanted to turn the TV off so bad but something in my mind was keeping me from doing it. So I continued to watch the channel. After the few seconds of red creepiness, there was a video of a Santa Fe train passing. I don't know what that meant. After that the main screen returned but with no sound. Static came, but longer than last time. Before it stopped the music was slowly fading in and the red screen came back, but it began to shine. I was dumbfounded, confused, and scared at that point. The TV then just went black for a minute. When the main screen came back on, the red bar with text was missing and there was no music. No TV distortion either. The music came on 16 seconds later and it switched to a disturbing alien-like figure saying no twice. The sight of it made me sick. What came on next terrified me like never before. A distorted, messed up version of the screaming episode of Candle Cove came on. I tried to look away and was crying my eyes out when the memories came back to me when I was small. The main screen came back on and turned to the red, slow down screen, but much louder. Finally the station went off the air. I turned the TV off and tried to go to sleep scared stiff. The next day I woke up to the TV playing the normal church channel my mom puts on for the consumers. I started up my laptop to see if I can find anything about WKYS333. I found a Wikipedia page about it. I read the article on the TV channel used to seem so fun, playing awesome TV shows for all ages. Until the creator and operator, Winston McAbee, died of cancer. WKYS333 was shut down after he died. It never went on air again. But I was questioning myself, how did I see it that night? Am I being haunted? I doubted that until I learned that the abandoned building across the street was the WKYS333 building. I went to go explore it, and when I was inside it was just a terrible mess, but the equipment was still there. I went to see if it was working, but it was just a shell. No electronics, nothing. I went home and I decided to investigate Channel 17B for the next few weeks. I will keep you guys updated in this post and will post videos on my new YouTube channel, WKYS Archive. But for now, see you later.